Welcome back. In this video, what we're going to do is take a look at some of our basic math, but we're going to add something super cool, which is user input. We don't always want this to be a 9 and a 10. Of course, we want the user to be giving us values to input in there so the program can do different calculations when you run it. So I'm going to make an entirely different program for this. So I'm actually going to close this project. Hello world now. File close. And I'm going to make a new project with a little bit of a twist. It's still Java, Java application. I'm going to give it a good name here. I'm going to call it Hot Dog Stand. Keep this in your memory where you've saved your project because we're actually going to have to go in there and do some stuff in the folders. And when it says create the main class, we are, but I'm going to take this out. What this is, is this was creating a package for us, like a little sort of subfolder. I'm actually going to take that out for this one. I just want my main class to be hot dog stand. You'll see the result right now when I hit finish. When I expand the file tree here, you'll see I have no more folder, no more package folder. It's just source folder, file name. That's actually just going to make something easier for us to do in a bit. Okay. So. There's my file minus all the comments. What I need to do before we get started is I need to add the ability of this program to get a little user input. Now Java has a lot of different options for user input. Uh, for beginners it can be a little bit tricky. So what I have is I have a file, which is basically a Java file, a class called user input. And you have to download it from the website. And once you have it from the website, it's going to be user input, very tiny little file. It's just got some Java code in it. You don't even have to worry about it, okay? But it's just a pre-written class called user input. We need to copy this into the source folder so it's added to our project. Now, I do believe we can just drag and drop. So click, drag, and drop it into the folder, and it's added in. Now, if you actually want to see where that was added on your computer, well, I'm just going to go to where my project was. Hot dog stand, source folder, and you'll see it's automatically drag and dropped it there. If the drag and drop didn't work on your computer, you could just go and copy and paste it right in here inside the source folder. Okay, same effect. So, let's use it now. Hot dog stand. I'm going to ask the user how many hot dogs they want how many drinks they want, I'm going to calculate a total cost, and I'm going to present that to the user. Okay, so let's get started. I know that I'm going to need some variables to remember some information. I need to remember how many hot dogs, so num hot dogs. I also know I'm going to need the number of drinks. These are integers, right? Nice numbers. Nobody's going to order 1.86 hot dogs, so integer is a good choice. Right now, the value of these variables is zero by default okay but we'll change that in a minute I also know that I'm gonna be calculating a cost and the cost could be a decimal number right because I might have a price like a dollar twenty five for hot dogs so I better make this variable a double notice I'm not calculating the cost yet first I have to ask the user how many of each that they want so that's what I'm gonna grab here so basically those are my variables set up now I'm going to ask the user. So num hot dogs equals. Here's how you use this user input class that's inside the project. You basically just go user input dot. And you'll see a list of commands actually comes up. These are called methods. There's one called get integer when you want integers. And there's one called get double when you want to grab decimal numbers. So I'm trying to grab an integer, so I'll just use get integer. Remember, capitals matter, so spell it right. And I can even put a little text in here. I'll say, how many hot dogs? And then I also need the drinks. So num drinks equals user input. Get integer. How many drinks? Bad typing day to day. Just to see this working, let's give it a go. There's no underlines, right? There's no red lines there. So 
The program looks like it's going to compile fine. I hit play. You'll see this box pop up. That's the user input class doing that command, right? You'll see your text. You type a number in here. Now you have to behave. You can't type like letters. Type an actual number. So I can say three hot dogs. I can say two drinks. I hit OK. Program's over. Now for some of you, watch out. Sometimes on some computers, students have told me that that user input box opens up behind their NetBeans. It doesn't come forward. So if you don't see it, peek behind the window. It could be there waiting for you. And you'll notice you don't see it back here either. So it's very deceiving. So you sort of run your program three, two. Okay, the program's over. Okay, didn't really do too much. Now, now that I've got the user input, a little comment there, like get user input. Calculate. Well, now I'm going to calculate my cost. Cost equals. I'm just going to do a simple line of math here. I'll make up some prices. I'll say it's the number of hot dogs times a dollar fifty, plus the number of drinks times a dollar twenty-five. Not a bad deal for lunch. And now I want to show this to the user. So let's do a little system out. System out print line. The total cost was cost. And this should actually work out and print it out. So let's give it a go. How many hot dogs? I'll just do two of each. Two, two. The total was $5.50. Now some of you may be saying to yourself, hey, where's the zero there? This is one of those, don't worry about it. Just leave it as it is. There is a way to get the zero there. We're not going to worry about it right now. Okay, but that's sort of some of your basic math there. Okay. Let's say you wanted to ask the user how much they're going to pay with. Well, let's make a variable for that. Double. Pay. And I'm going to get the user to enter the pay. Pay equals user input dot get double. Remember, they could pay with like... 1050 right so get double enter pay they enter their pay now I want to calculate if they paid with enough money or what their change might be so let's do this double change I'll calculate the change out you know what I could do that one just on one line change is pay minus cost that's a pretty simple math line and let's just print it out for them here Print out your change is change. So you'll see here our program actually does an actual task now. That's not too bad. Let's give it a run, see if it works. So how many dogs? Three drinks. One. Five seventy five. I'm gonna pay with ten dollars. And your change was four twenty five. And the program ends. Not bad, right? Program's doing a little bit. Now, of course, the same program has a little bit of a flaw here. Two, two. I'm going to pay with two. My change is negative, right? I didn't pay with enough money. Well, of course, this is going to be something we learn about pretty soon is, well, how do we do these kind of checks, right? Like, if they paid with too little, say this. If they paid with enough, do this. That's coming. But before we get there, we're actually going to give you a few little practice problems, and you can try them out. Uh, you should make your project just like I made this one. Uh, import the user input, and you can write your code in void main and test out your skills okay? using variables, a little bit of math, and some user input. Good luck with the practice, and then we'll see you for those awesome if statements. Thanks for watching.